Hello everyone, I'd just like to um, give you a little bit of an update. We're um, now two or three weeks into restarting treatments and everything's going very well. But we've had a couple of questions that keep recurring, so I thought I'd just um, send out a little message just to clarify things. So the first one is a really good question, and a number of you have asked this, is what should we do in preparation for treatment? Because we've asked you if you can, as far as possible, to shield. So the reason behind that is that we believe that it would be devastating for you to have waited all this time to start a treatment and then find that you have to stop halfway because you develop symptoms of COVID. So we want to try and avoid that as much as possible. And we also believe that it, if everybody's asked to shield and to be extremely safe, the risk of COVID coming into the clinic will be at a minimum and that will protect other patients and it will protect staff and we're asking the same of staff we're asking our staff to be extremely sensible so what do we mean by by shielding what we really want you to do is 14 days before you're due to actually start your your drugs your medication for your treatment cycle think about shielding as far as is reasonably possible and you'll find information about shielding on the government website but we we're not asking for strict shielding um, in the sense that it was originally um, described by the government, it has relaxed a little bit what it means by shielding. Shielding means avoiding going out unless you really have to. So staying at home and when you're in the home environment, be sensible. Um, if there are other members of the household who are working or going out to higher risk um, places, obviously keep some sort of distance, some sort of two metre distance, washing hands frequently. You can go out up to once a day, but choose what you do. Do not go to um, busy places, uh, avoid large gatherings, weddings and parties, which obviously at the moment we're not allowed to do. Um, think about if you're going to meet anybody outside your household, perhaps restricting to just one friend, uh, particularly if you're single, that's quite important that you do have some social interaction. If you're in a job such as a frontline NHS worker, Think about trying to come off face-to-face -face contact with patients or working from home if you can. We have a letter prepared for you to give to your employer for all those people who are, who are in those jobs where face-to-face -face contact might be a problem. Um, we, we would advise you to have 14 days before you start your treatment and the duration of your treatment as time that you are shielding as far as possible. We're here to answer questions, so if anything isn't clear, we will guide you and, and help you to adjust your lifestyle to keep yourself as safe as possible. So we believe that if you do that and you're wearing a face mask when you come for your appointments, we're gonna keep that risk of COVID right, right down for you. And the other question people have asked me about is um, immunotherapy. Now, as you know, there has been a lot of conversation in the fertility um, social media about natural killer cells and potentially their role in implantation. And certainly at the Agora over the last couple of years, we've moved away from advising people to have natural killer cell testing. We've pointed you to the HFEA website and we've tried to show that at the moment there is not sufficient scientific evidence to back uh, natural killer cell testing and to also take steroids and other drugs that can suppress your immune response. Right now, it is particularly important to avoid those sort of drugs. So whilst we normally, in normal times after counselling, we would support those tests and we would actually support you having those drugs, right now, the British Fertility Society has made it absolutely clear we should not be doing anything to suppress your immune system. So, you know, we ask you to, to, to sort of understand the reasons behind it. If you really want to take those drugs, think about deferring your treatment. So we're again happy to answer any questions on an individual basis if you've got questions on that. But in the meantime, keep safe, look forward to seeing you all for treatment and hope you're going to actually enjoy becoming pregnant with us.